And so B5, the last question in the 2012 Advanced Higher Applied Maths and also the last in the Maths one. We've got this first order differential equation and for four marks you have to solve it to get T in terms of X. Now, that means there'll be a constant, there's some other information. It mentions turkeys and refrigerators and ovens. It's got here, it's got something here. It's temperature, and T stands for the temperature of the turkey, was 4 degrees. And X stands for when you put it in. So that means T equals 4 when X equals 0. So that'll let me get the constant, and let me get this equation in terms of X. Right, well, separate the variables dt over 180 minus t will be k dx and then integrate both sides nice little log here linear denominator notice it's got a negative first derivative so that will be the negative of the log of 180 minus t will equal kx plus c and I've just used ordinary round brackets not an absolute value because thinking of the physics of the question, T is never going to exceed 180 because that's the temperature of the oven. So the turkey can't get hotter than the oven you put it into. Right, how can I get C? Put those numbers into it. So negative ln of 180 minus 4 is equal to C. So there's the value of C. C is negative ln 176. So putting that back into it, negative ln 180 minus T using this line here, is kx minus ln176. Now you can see what's happening. If I keep that there and bring this over here, I'll have the difference of two logs, which you think, that's quite nice, because then I just divide them, but I'll put that t underneath. So rather than that, I think I'll just flip all the signs. So I'll write this instead, ln of 180 minus t, and then if I flip that into a plus, it'll be minus ln176. But unfortunately, that'll become minus kx. But I don't really care about that. would be negative. I really wanted my t on top, so it can just suffer instead. Now I can do my little division. ln of 180 minus t over 176 is negative kx. You can see we're almost there. Get rid of log inverse. Inverse of the logarithmic function will be the exponential one. e to the negative kx. Run out of room, haven't I? I need to take that across and then just flip the terms about a bit. 180 minus t is 176 e to the negative kx. Now I'll just squeeze it in. So t is going to be 180 minus 176 e to the negative kx. So where were the marks? One for separating the variables, one for integrating, one for getting the value of the constant, and then the last one was for all this rearrangement. Now, part B for two marks. After an hour, so that's when X is 1, the oven, in the oven, the temperature of the turkey is 30 degrees Celsius. Right, well, there's the expression that I've got. This is just pop numbers in to get your, your marks here. So what's it got? 30 equals 180 minus 176 e to the negative, and it's k times 1, so that's just negative k. So bringing that over, 176 e to the negative k is 180, minus 30 is 150, so e to the negative k will be 150 over 176. So then finally, the negative of k will be ln of 150 over 176, so k itself will be the negative of that, remember the negative of that, would be the same as that to the power negative 1, so it'll be the same as ln of 176 over 150. And if you put that into your calculator, you get k equals 0 0.1598 and so on, because it did say it wanted it as a number, because it said two decimal places, so k is 0 0.16. The marking was one mark for getting down to that term, and then one for the answer. And finally, part C. The turkey will be cooked when it reaches a temperature of 80. Really? Was that the outside or the inside? Mm. That doesn't seem that good, does it? So, how long to the nearest minute will the turkey, will it take for the turkey to be cooked? How long to the nearest minute will the turkey be cooked? All right. I suppose that does make sense. Well, if T has to equal 80, 
then that just means you do exactly the same calculation as you did in part B, because it's this exponent of E here that you're going to evaluate for these two marks. So, as before, 80 equals 180 minus 176 e to the negative 0 0.16, and it's x you want this time. So 176 e to the negative 0 0.16 x will be 100. So e to the negative, oh, it's just the same thing, isn't it? Will be 100 divided by the 176. So negative 0 0.16 x will be ln of 100 divided by 176, with a slight difference here that we're going to then divide that answer by 0.16. So x will be, just put it in this part, ln of 100 over 176, all divided by negative 0 0.16. A job for the calculator. Putting it into the calculator gives you 3.5332, etc. hours. But it did say to the nearest minute. Well, that means it will be three hours, and then this portion here will have to get multiplied by 60. I'm not going to set that out, so I'll simply subtract the three, and then multiply the remaining decimal part by 60, and you get 31.99 minutes. So that would be three hours, 32 minutes. This time the first mark was for getting not to this line, but to this line. And then the second mark was having to do that little business with hours and minutes. No, wait, there were three marks for this part. The first mark was that line at the top where you put 80 in for T, and I suppose the 0.16 in for K. And there it is. The last question, done.